My name is Stella Kimbo. I'm a professor at the University of the Philippines School of Economics, and I'm also currently the holder of the Prince Glass Chair. Recently, we have adopted the use of what we call policy navigators. So these are people who are more or less they work like social workers. So they uh, ensure that families in, in the villages um, make best use of the facilities, they, uh, including health insurance. So this is one newly introduced initiative and it actually is a spin-off from one of our policy experiments. We were able to actually show a lot of results. Like our, um, we show that expanded health insurance can actually lead to better health, um, which is, it sounds um, sort of trivial, but actually there's really not a lot of evidence supporting that. And so we've been able to um, generate evidence for that uh, statement. Um, we've also shown that uh, when you give incentives to doctors for quality, quality actually improves in the hospitals and in addition when there's better quality in your in your facilities then you also get better health for your children so we did find um, a lot of these things in terms of policies what have been adopted officially so far is this policy navigator aspect i think quality monitoring um, um, the way we monitored quality in the facilities i think the government is also considering adopting that as well. And it's a very simple quality metric that we devised, um, just um, revolves around three numbers. And so our idea was to come up with a very simple measure so that people can follow it. And in addition, people can change their behavior when they know that they're being measured by something that they can easily understand. We started from the top. So there's a big infrastructure that was created in 1995. So it's a national health insurance program. However, we're not quite down yet. I would like to say that we're inching slowly <laughs> downstairs, meaning to say that there are still obviously some problems operationally that need to be addressed. But I think one way to address these, these problems is through policy experiments. So that's, that's in my mind, is the micro aspect. So it's, it's big, but um, we were lucky in the past because um, the administrator of the program were very open to actually running these small experiments. So, and, and from these experiments, then you have, you learn new things, um, better ways to, to run the program, and hopefully, um, if these are rolled out, then hopefully then you can go from top to down quite easily. I've been working in this area for since the early 1990s when I was a graduate student. Um, I was actually hired as a research assistant to provide inputs for this law that actually created this program. So in a sense, um, I was with them from the start of the program, in a sense, in a, from an outsider perspective, right? And um, I realize how important health insurance is. Um, watching the, the video earlier, you know, I, I'm a health economist, so when, you, when I want to be reminded of how important health insurance is, I look at my numbers. I look at out-of-pocket expenditures, I divide it by total hospital bill and I get a number and that tells me how import, important insurance is. But when you see it in a video, like what was shown this morning, that's different. Mm -hmm. Like you see how big the impact of an illness is, how in a sense um, monstrous the possible effect of an illness is, how catastrophic, such that it can actually erode all the gains from employment, right? So. And what's ironic is it takes you several years to find gainful employment, and then all of a sudden you get sick and you're out of it. So in my mind, you, we really need to use health insurance to protect against these catastrophes. So they are, I mean, it's, it's really something that I'm very passionate about because I think it's one way, number one, to prevent poverty 
in the short run and also in the long run. Because if you're able to protect people today, they actually get healthier and they become more productive workers. And then in the long run, that's reduced poverty. So any which way you look at it, I think it's a very good, powerful instrument mm. to deal with poverty. I think policymakers really have to be more open to using or making decisions based on solid scientific evidence. I mean, you know, in the past we've seen bad policies being made and it's really just based on intuition, based on um, political influence and all that. But perhaps if um, we can move to a system where evidence is actually more important in the decision making, I think um, there's no way but up, right? So that, I think that's, that's the first. And uh, yeah, and secondly, I mean, it's sort of related to, to this, um, to share your experiences. So this, is, this, this um, activity to, today is extremely important. I mean, here we hear all countries' experiences. And, and we're seeing anyway that the trend really is towards producing scientific evidence. Thank you.